Hey, how are you all doing? Welcome to this Enlight video leap tutorial. In this Enlight video leap tutorial, I'm going to talk about or show you how to use the glitch effect um, and utilize it as a transition. What's going on with my headphones? Move out of the way, headphones. Yeah, so how to use it as a transition. Um, let's get straight on and, and, and let me show you exactly what I mean. Um, so I don't know whether you've um, updated to the latest version of um, of Video Leap, but got lovely new rounded type, real cool um, menus now. So um, laid out a little bit differently as well, and the um, the visuals of them are a little bit different. Quite nice. Um, looks quite. Um, yeah, looks quite cool. So yeah, I'm going to click the little plus button in the middle and I've gone to the stock um, images at the bottom. Remember, you can do this with your own sort of video. I'm going to choose this stock video here. Um, load this stock video here and it's just a... Let's have a look, let's have a look exactly what it is. It's a car travelling in slow motion, drone view, top down view, car travelling in slow motion. Um, so I think what we could do with this is we could use the glitch effect and we could maybe change some colors Let me show you exactly what I mean. So this is a little bit long out here So let's go to maybe five seconds So I'm just gonna select the video in my timeline and when I select it You notice I get this little white frame around it and that means I'm now able to edit what's in my timeline And you'll notice when I deselect it and select it. So if I've got it selected my glitch effect which I want to show you is not there. So we have to deselect um, the um, the clip there and select the glitch. Now, there's a few glitch effects that you can use. I don't really like any of them apart from the RGB and the CRT, and that's the only ones really that I would use. The pulsar, the etch, and the scan, um, and the pixelate. Pixelate is okay for obviously to pixelate something, but the others, as a glitch effect yeah it's poor i don't like it so let me go to rgb i'm going to select rgb um and it's going to create an rgb glitch effect for me um for the duration of my timeline so all i'm going to do is select the rgb and i'm going to lengthen and shorten it so i'm just going to shorten it down and if you notice let me pinch and squeeze on the timeline just to open it up a little bit you'll notice in the RGB effect, in the top right hand corner, I've got a timestamp and that just shows me how long the effect is active for. So I can go up to two seconds, but I don't want to. I'm going to keep this quite short and I'm just going to keep it um, at just one second, just there. Okay, so now what I'm also going to do, just for ease of use to show you, I'm going to go to the end of the glitch effect. I'm gonna select the main video in the timeline and I'm gonna split it there, okay? The reason I've split it there is because I'm gonna change colors. I didn't need to split it. I could have done it a different way, but I think this is the easiest way, okay? So I'm gonna change the colors. I'm gonna use this RGB glitch effect, RGB, red, green, blue. You can see if I change the um, intensity of it, that the red, greens, and blues split a little bit. So at the start of this effect, I'm going to have the intensity up to around 54, 55. So there's sort of three vehicles in view. And I'm going to click my little diamond in the corner to activate a keyframe. Once you've activated a keyframe, you don't need to keep clicking it. So then let's move along a little bit. And I'm going to drag the intensity down, but then move along again, drag the intensity up but also drag the vibration up. So I'll get this sort of shake on the screen, move it up a little bit more and drag the vibration up just a little bit more. So now when we um, move back in the timeline and click play, I've got this nice little glitch effect. And what I want to do is on the final keyframe, which is where my split is, this next clip I'm going to change the color of it. So I'm going to select the um, the actual video clip itself. I'm going to go to filters. I'm going to scroll all the way along to the end. And I'm going to change the color to this um, FX2, this dark color. I can intensify that, make it more prominent or less prominent with a slider. But I'm going to keep it quite prominent. So now, if we look, it looks almost as though there's a transition there. The glitch effect has prompted that, um, that change in filter. 
Okay, so what we could do is we could drag this over over a little bit, this glitch effect, and we could we could just increase it a little bit more and in um, increase the intensity and increase the vibration even more. Um, so I think that would just make the transition just seem a little bit more real. Okay, so it, click click, and if you put sound effects and some music beyond this it's gonna it's gonna be quite cool um, so let's scroll up a little bit more and have another change of color so I'm gonna split again but all I'm gonna do this time I'm gonna duplicate this um, this glitch effect because I don't think I need to do it again I'm quite happy with the way it's turned out and and again just have it so that sort of final keyframe is the one that has changed color um, go to my main timeline filters and then go to all the way to the end again. And I'm gonna use this um, FX1 this time. Um, so now we've got two changes in color. And then the final change, it's just gonna go back to green. So here, I'm gonna to go to the filters and then we're back to normal. And then here, just to tidy it up a little bit, let me split that, get rid of that. And all I'm going to do is um, reduce the opacity. So it's like a fade out effect. Really easy to do. Select the um, clip in the timeline. Click the little diamond in the corner to um, have a keyframe. Go all the way to the bottom. Opacity. Drag it all the way down. So now we've just got a nice fade out effect as well. Put some music to that and some little glitch effect noises to that. And it's going to make all the difference. I'll... Um, I'll I'll finish it off and I'll put a preview at the end of this video. So, um, yeah, if you have any questions, remember, leave them in the comments below. Likewise, if you have any requests, videos you want me to do, leave them in the comments below. Take care. I'll catch you all soon. Thanks a lot for watching. Thanks a lot for your support. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up or something like that. Whatever you want to do. Take care.